Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Charles Sabanson, and welcome you guys to another episode of the Dreamers Pro Show. We cover everything from sports, hot topics, classic debates, entertainment, and we give you guys a fresh perspective on things and how we see them. And today we got some fireworks. We got some fireworks in store for you guys, and you definitely don't want to miss a second of it. But before we get into it, please make sure you like the video uh, and subscribe to the channel. Now, as you know, Jason Whitlock can be, no, not can be, is a polarizing figure. He has his audience. His core audience and they you know they follow him but in the process of him you know giving his views on various issues he ends up also turning off some people who disagree with him i've had my not not issues but i've, I've had my disagreements with jason whitlock over the last i don't know six months especially around that deon sanders situation um i understand that he can be critical of deon sanders which is fine i just didn't like the fact of you know kind of disrespecting him as a man i didn't like all of that but that's how he operates um that's his style and a lot of people a lot of people agree with him but then he also brings up some some certain points that, that are irrefutable and some of the things that he says so i'm not going to be a total hypocrite and be like oh he's 100 percent wrong there are things he agrees uh, i the things that he says that i agree with and there are things that he says i disagree with that's just how i am that's how i'm looking at it but um apparently there's some people within his industry people that have known him that have worked in big media that have taken a lot of issue with him. Stephen A. Smith, Jamel Hill. Uh, uh, um, I don't think Dan Lebitar said anything uh, directly. He's had kind of a back and forth with Shannon Sharp. But also, to be fair, I've also, I think when he was talking about his top 50 or 100 people he's had issues with in media, he was giving Shannon Sharp some props. He recently gave him some more props. So anyway, y'all know the backstory of that. So what happened? I came across a set of tweets via... An awful announcing article uh, this morning. And essentially, the article had the following headline saying, ESPN Stan Verrett slams Jason Whitlock over Angel Reese takes. And then I proceeded to read a little bit of read the article a little bit. And it says, in the world of sports analysts, there's a freezing takes. And then there's whatever you want to call Jason Whitlock's stance on Angel Reese. Last week, the Blaze host referred to the Chicago Sky's uh, full, or a rookie forward as arguably the most overrated athletes uh, in all of sports. To say that Whitlock's take aged like milk would be an insult to dairy. Uh, as Reese scored 25 points and grabbed 16 rebounds in an 88-87 uh, victory over rival Caitlin Clark and the Indiana Fever on Sunday. Following the best performance of the LSU's product rookie season, many were unsurprisingly quick to remind Whitlock of what he had, what he just said about her five days earlier. And while he didn't quit, quite double down on his criticism, he did his best to continue to attempt to discredit Reese on court ability. So actually what we want to do now is we want to get into what Jason Whitlock said and we're going to read the response, the tweets and response and some of the things you were saying to some of his followers in the comment section. And I think is, I mean, just absolute fireworks. So let's get into that now. So let's get into the tweets now. So Stan Verrett decided to respond to Jason Whitlock, but let me read his original tweets. He said, she's unskilled, but she also has a higher basketball IQ than I gave her credit for. She knows how to play. She's a terrific competitor. Her game is to establish post position and she works hard to get it. That type of effort will make you highly effective. So that's what Jason Whitlock said. And then Stan Verrett responded. He said, in other words, I never really saw her play before I decided to attack her needlessly because I knew it would play well into the anti-black audience I'm desperately seeking to retain uh, retained some relevance after my many firings. Fix that for you. Now, it didn't stop there. He then went on to say, I believe, we're responding to what someone said. He said the following. Uh, one person said, I'm noticing Whitlock ignores you because he knows you will give him some pushback. Then he said, he knows his level and he knows mine. And he knows they are not on. They are not the same. It could end his quote unquote career. And then all HBCU basketball responded. Excuse me, football responded and said, uh, "Big facts." So as you heard from this article, Stan Verrett is not holding back on Jason Whitlock. What are my thoughts on this? 
you know, I think that everything Stan Verrett said is inbound, and I'll tell you why. If you go out there and you take a, posi- a particular position and it ends up to be wrong-headed, people should have a right to point that out. People should have a right to point that out. Like, look, you were 100% wrong and you need to own it. I don't think that there's anything wrong with that because it happens all the time. You may make a pick who's going to win the finals, who's going to win this series, and then you're wrong. People have a right to call you out, especially if you're very public about your position and very adamant about it. Then people should have the right to call you out. I don't don't see, I don't have any issue with that. Now, he also mentioned the aspect of the anti-black. He said something to the effect of, essentially saying that he was playing into his anti-black um audience that he's trying to hold on to or whatever uh as i mentioned before i said to jason i I never met him i said that does he make some fair critiques about the black community sure my issue was is that it always seems to be black this black that black this black that black this black that whenever black people f up is black this black that black that all i said was spread the love Spread the love, like spread it over there, spread it over here. Now, Jason Whitlock will say, but I've done that. His followers will say, he's done that. My thing is, I wish it would happen a little bit more. So therefore, the average listener, Jason Whitlock, won't say what this gentleman just said, which is anti-black audience. Because there are a constituency of people out there that feel like Jason Whitlock can go out there and say things about the black community that, that they themselves can't say. Now, I've never studied Jason Willock in depth to that level to be able to say, oh, this is 100% the truth. I don't know. To be quite honest with you, I don't know. I, we're all aware of Jason Whitlock. He's been in sports media for a very long time. I'm also aware of the back and forth that he's had with Stephen A. Smith, and he's brought up some good points. Now, here's the interesting thing. Just to give you guys a, a quick juxtaposition here, something to think about. We can say, well, he's very, very anti-black, but then... um. You know, I've seen him st- stand up for other for, for, for stand up for other people and go at other people that even the black community has issues with, like a Stephen A. Smith. When he was talking about Stephen A. Smith's book and some of the stories that he made up and all of that stuff. So look, um, Stan Verrett wasn't backing down. He definitely doesn't seem to be a fan of Jason Woodlock. And I think that the point he brought up in terms of you didn't watch her and all that, I think it's fair. I think it, maybe some people will say it's been a little bit too o- oversimplistic, but it happens all the time in his sports. I'm on no one side here because... I'm not really a fan of anyone. I'm just reporting the news and giving my thoughts on what just happened just now. So the question to the audience is, what do you think about this exchange? Whose side are you on? Are you on Jason Whitlock or are you on, let me get the gentleman's name right. Are you on, um, what is it? The Stan Verrett side. Whatever you guys think, please leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section. We catch you guys on the next show. Peace.